Hi, my name is Paul Gomez. I'm Andrew Graves. I'm Dan Kahn. Hi, my name is Brandon Partner. We would like to introduce our game, Sweatshop. Sweatshop is a four-player card game focusing on the struggles of the average sweatshop worker. The game uses a set matching mechanic similar to Goldfish. Players collect items trying to match three of the same type to assemble a product. Each item has a unique value. By making a set, players gain the combined value of all cards for the product. Products are made from three items of the same nature, like by matching three hat cards, for example. At the end of the game, the player with the highest wage or the first to reach $2 wins. But it's not so easy. There are also event cards which change the flow of gameplay. Lose one of the three polling items, in-head items, on-table items, or with my sponsor. Take one of the sponsor! No what you lose! Event cards could affect turns, hands, and even wages. There are also sponsor cards, which act as score multipliers. Doubling value for matching item types while dividing for another. What are we going to do about my sponsor? We're going to trade it out! Oh gosh. <laughs> Just sponsor Stop. swapping. Here's how to play. Each player draws six cards. The oldest player goes first, and then the turns go clockwise. The first player draws a card from the deck and shows it to everyone. If it is an event card, the event happens immediately to the person who drew it. Otherwise, the player may now choose to do one or all of the following. Put down any set of three matching identical item cards. Play any sponsor or event card. Shuffle the card that they've just drawn back into the deck and not keep it. Or swap it with a card in hand and shuffle the swap card back into the deck. Now to talk about drawing. When a player draws into their hand and can use any card, they draw freely. Or, at the start of each turn, when the player draws a card onto the table, the player now may ask another player if they have an item card of a specific type. If the other player does have another item, they hand it over. Or, they can lie about having said item. After this, your turn ends. Discard any extra cards you have until you have no more than six cards in your hand. The game is over when a set is made or a player has a value of $2 or more in their set. When the deck has been depleted of all cards, shuffle, flip over the discard pile and resume drawing. But what happens if a player is lying? If you accuse a player of lying, you must convince the other two players to accuse them. If everyone agrees they are lying, the accused must show their hand to the table. In the event that they are lying, each of the accusers may take a card from the liar's hand of their choice starting with the initial accuser and working clockwise. In the event that they are innocent, they may take a card from each of their accuser's hands, face down at random. Necklace. Oh! I don't have one though. Oh, you don't? I don't. I don't know if I believe that. Oh, well obviously you don't want to trust me here. Unless this guy has two You've necklaces. already called for his. You're lying. I only took the one. There is a maximum of six cards you can have in hand at the end of your turn and a minimum of four cards. If you have less than four cards, you begin your turn by drawing cards into your hands, face down from the pile, until you have four cards. Then you begin your turn officially by drawing the customary one card face up from the deck pile. Sweatshop began as a serious games project, but it grew into something more. By using a game as our medium, we are able to spread awareness of a serious issue in an approachable context. Thank you for watching this video, and if you're more interested on this project, please follow the website in the description below. Thank you! Okay, well I don't have him. If you have two I don't have a I'm not calling him on it. He totally doesn't have a monitor. I don't have a monitor, man. Well, I think we know who has some pants.